If there's one thing I've learned, it's that corporate America cares about minorities. Take the Asian automakers. It's your journey. Be proud of it. I'm living my truth with my chosen family. They love gay people here in America, but hate them back home. The NFL wants to end racism. The NFL announced the phrases, it takes all of us and and racism will be painted in the end zones all through the season. Maybe they should end themselves. Up until last year, they wouldn't pay black players concussion settlements. A new report says that the NFL concussion settlement is discriminating against black NFL players. We, the National Football League, condemn racism and the systematic oppression of black people. Even more troubling is that the settlement has been implemented in a way that makes it harder for black players, who for decades have made up the majority of the league, to get dementia payouts. We, the National Football League, believe black lives matter. To qualify for a payout, former players must prove that they've suffered from cognitive decline. But the testing is graded on a curve, known as a race norm. And under those race norms, black players are assumed to have lower intelligence than white players. Black lives matter. Nike wants us to not turn our backs on racism. But evidence points to them, unbelievably, using slaves to pick the cotton in their products. Nike and others are complicit in uh, China's slave labor. That's what a report is suggesting. Hundreds of thousands of people from ethnic minorities, including the Uyghur community, are being forced by the Chinese authorities to pick cotton. Believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. The factory with barbed wire fences, that now they're making Nike sneakers. They're making Nike sneakers. Now, well, it's not just um, barbed wire fences, you, you claim. It's, uh, it's watchtowers, police guard boxes. Yes. The BBC has seen evidence that shows Uyghurs are also being sent en masse into the cotton fields. But you, taxpaying American, you're the racist, and you're the one that needs to do better. I want to do better. I want to be more like the corporations. So from now on, I'm going to shamelessly exploit minorities for profit, starting by opening the first white, black-owned business. Sarah, nice to meet you, my name's Darren. We're very progressive anti-racist company, black owned of course, and uh, we're looking for brand ambassadors to kind of share the message. Well, something, my boss, I've, I've got to ask this, what have you done in the past to advance social justice? Yeah. I've um, been doing volunteer work for the homeless. Uh, I mean, I'm a minority female, so just being me. <laughs> now, what about you? Oh yeah? Yeah, and they've been going on for years. I mean, way before 2020, so yeah. I've been going to those since like 2014. Sir, Mr. Douglas? Yeah. If I could, just uh, some hand sanitizer. Oh, yeah. We take the pandemic very seriously. Uh, why do you too, yeah. It disproportionately affects people of color, so. Okay. The light points 50 day movie average is a fucking joke. Thanks for doing Oh. Oh, sorry about the bat. <laughs> it's yeah, a little timid. My nephew plays T-ball. That down here. What's your name? Uh, Sarah. Is it Sarah or uh, Sarah? <laughs> Did you give him the speech? Yeah, I let him. You let him know everything I said, right? Yeah, yeah. About this and that. I did, sir. Yeah. I forgot, what do we pay you in? Uh, cash or menthols? <laughs> Very funny. So what are your names, first of all? True. True? Yeah. What's your name? False. <laughs> What's your name? Bree. Bree. Yes. I can't do anything with that one. I'm not that good. I am. Pretty damn successful entrepreneur, though. My name is Carl Lund Nightingale. I was born in Greenwich, Connecticut, and I boarded at Exeter before matriculating to New Haven. Yale. Upon graduating, I became an associate at Swanson and Carlisle, concurrently working nights and weekends on a wine aeration product that later sold to BevMo for $0.128 million. My hobbies include polo and reenacting the Peloponnesian War. You could say I'm just a regular guy. <laughs> Let's get into this. What I've been noticing 
what we've been noticing, is a decided return to the retro in many spheres of the Western economy. Let me prove my thesis to you. Film and television is dominated by 1980s franchises. Top Gun, The Karate Kid, women's fashion, straight out of the 1960s. Additionally, an associate of mine, Bryson Peabody, informed me he recently fingered a girl with a hairy box. We're all cognizant, right, Sarah, of the success of Fidget Spinners, the toy. Yeah, 200 million units sold. Sounds a little successful to me. <laughs> our analysis, again, our analysis, indicates that we're primed for a retro gold rush in the field of toys, too. And we're gonna cash in on that gold rush. What's the toy, Sarah? What is the toy? Paddle ball. You have something to say? <laughs> no, I just had a good uh, reaction of that. That's it. <laughs> Paddle ball. But we're not selling just any old wood and rubber. We need to infuse this wood and this rubber with a powerful social message. We need people like yourselves to spread that message. The two of you are influencers, yes? How many followers on Instagram? Nothing. Just 11K. True? Oh, I don't have an, I'm a model. I have like 200. You're not a very good model, it sounds like. <laughs> I'm a print model. Mm. How big are you on TikTok? Um, 8,000 like, followers, but I feel not like bad. if I was consistent, then it would definitely like grow. Yeah, we can grow you. We can grow you. But um, if we grow you, I might be growing as well. Come on, man. Relax. Did you just tell me to relax in my own boardroom? Me and a little. Continue. Continue, sir. Sorry about that. Continue. All right. I don't have a harmonica here to tame his soul. <laughs> a little long with our presentation. Off the back of your 8,000 TikTok followers, <laughs> We are going to sell a paddle ball infused with a social message. It will not be wood, twine, and rubber. It will be a paddle ball infused with the souls of black folk. BLM paddle ball. BLM fucking paddle ball. The rubber ball slamming into the paddle, you could say it's an act of punishment. The ball punishes whatever design is on the paddle. Whenever somebody plays with this particular unit, which admittedly is a prototype, they punish a Klansman. Um, the KKK? Yeah. Anybody who picks up one of these, They get to hit the KKK man right between the eyes. Oh my. You really think that's appropriate, sir? I mean, I don't know. What do you, what do you think about it, Doug? Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not in, intending to say white power is a good thing. We've seen- well, You just said it. I just heard it out of your mouth. White power is a good thing. No, it does yeah. seem like that was kind of like weird. White power is a good thing. If you saw someone walking down the street and you saw that hanging out of their pocket, white, that's ridiculous. I didn't know what I said. What, what would you think about this? 
I mean, this is going to be terrible for the branding. Look at that. I think it makes I don't perfect support sense. This. Like there we go. Somebody who sees my vision. But for the rest of you. Whatever, man. Colin Kaepernick throwing a grenade into a police station. Oh, that one's actually pretty cool. Can I help you? No. You got that smirk on your face again. No. <laughs> no. Listen, this guy balled out back in 2015. I think he should be back in the league. At least that's my public opinion on the matter. We mentioned we're black owned, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Well, he's not the actual owner, but surprise today, and for the rest of this company's lifespan, which will be long, he is. So everybody give a round of applause to our new CEO of BLM Paddle Balls. Wow. Let's get a round of applause. Wow. Dude, congrats, man. We're gonna show an ad that our new CEO acts in and wrote. I see your misgivings, Douglas. Don't worry. I wrote the commercial and I will retain all functional duties as chief executive officer. This guy's just a figurehead. This little tyke over here. Let's watch the ad. For shizzle my nizzle, George Floyd got kizzled, but BLM paddle balls a motherfucking rizzle. I play it when I loot the La Brea CVS or when I ski, ski, ski on a white woman's chest. Fuck the police, I carry up peace. No paddle ball, no motherfucking peace. Say it, say the fucking slogan. Buy it, or you're a racist. What are we thinking, people? You're funny, huh? That's not cool, bro. Bro, like, what is this, man? As the ghost CEO of a black-owned company, I feel like this is the new me. You making a statement or something's going on, bro? Ah, I'm making a statement. We're about to sell a fuck ton of these. I think he's trying to be you. He, he saw it, yeah. and, and now he's inspired. I've given myself <laughs> over to your culture. Sure. I did some contract work that doesn't mean you can make fun of us and, and demean my, my culture, my, my people. All of they walk, like, marched in the streets for this. I was out there marching too. At least I sent oh, yeah. my secretary to go march for me. You love stereotypes. You love stereotyping people of color, huh? You're all basically the same. Why shouldn't I? Wow, really? Hey, fuck you, Carl. Carl Sarah. Lund Nightingale, say the full thing. Sarah, what do you say about this? Mmm. You like this racist piece of shit? Sexist, homophobic asshole? He does like him. I saw the way you just looked at him. This is how the world works. I like assertive people. Mm. You're a fucking piece of shit. You know I'll fuck you up, right? I don't know if you will. Oh, I won't? Yeah, the police station's just down there I, on I Venice. Been, I've been peeping all the smart shit you've been saying all day, bro. Can you say that in English for me, please? What are you gonna do? You wanna that? act like I'm a fucking stereotype nigga? I'll fucking act like a stereotype nigga. Calm down. I'll give you a hit of crack, whatever you want. <laughs> bro, you really think I won't fuck you up, bro? So we wanna call the cops if this guy takes another step toward me? We'll call the cops on you, motherfucker. Don't disrespect people, bro. Black people are not a monolith. We're not all the fucking same, man. This is not funny. West side, word up, peeps. Ah! Oh, no! Bitch ass nigga. Bitch ass nigga. Fuck I told you. Pussy ass nigga. Where you going? Don't call the cops. Nigga, go follow him out. Go follow him out. I did. Dude, King, when you got serious, that was like on point acting. Dude, well, you know, uh, I'm serious about that offer to be our HR girl. Really? Yeah. You seem lenient. Lenient? Yeah. Okay. How are you on the phone with lawyers? With lawyers? Yeah. I don't know. I've never... I've never You're going to be doing a lot of this. Carl Lund Nightingale? Never heard of him. I would love to do that. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to stay in touch, you and I. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Later.
For shizzle my nizzle, George Ford got Hello everybody, we're here at CSU San Bernardino. Fine place of higher learning. It's beautiful. Ooh. We're also accompanied by the gangbang fanatic, Kazumi. Me. Why are we here, Leo? Father O'Neill, it's his birthday and oh. he invited us. Father O'Neill, by the way, you could describe him as a uh, religious zealot. Uh, he's <laughs> fanatically religious, this guy. He has a girlfriend of three years yeah. who has or has not seen his penis, Leo, remind me. Has not in three years. That's a lot. How That's long a... do you wait before you see a man's penis? I kind of like to see it immediately. Uh, immediately meaning uh, after like, the first date? Like right now. Hearthcock? Hearthcock, show her your penis. Right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> we also have a uh, inbred sensation, Hearthcock from Mississippi. There he is. Thing is huge. I just saw it. I don't know who's yeah. less sexually experienced, him or Father O'Neill. That's close. Yeah. Kazumi, she's going to help us throw a fun little birthday party for Father O'Neill. I think he's going to appreciate it. Do you think, think he'd so want to see my boobs? You think, he, you think oh, he's going to want to see her double D or those triple D? They're double D, baby. The double D titties? I think he will. I think he will. Yeah. I'm Do just you want to see them? Yeah, I'd love to. Oh, well, shut up. Whoa. Leo, you're creeping the woman out. What? She, she wants a more innocent man. And she knows this is a fake cross. She yeah. wants the guy who's all about the real Jesus. We just saw Father O'Neill sitting lonely Lee at a park bench. Remember, she is our um, uh, social media girl. Father O'Neill! Are you ready for your nice little birthday party? This is our social media girl. Yes. She, she, Hi, O'Neill. Extensive. Shut up behind the camera. Shut up, Hearthcock. God damn it, Hearthcock. He's been drinking. Kazumi. She is our uh, brand outreach specialist. They say Facebook ads are the new American frontier. Yeah. That's some stuff we need to tap into, and Kazumi is going to help. We could really target him. I'm sure that's why. Uh, Kazumi, that wasn't relevant. Come on, be a professional. Be a professional. My big brain. Kazumi, I can actually see your left nipple. If you wouldn't mind making that disappear for me, that'd be great. <laughs> well, uh, let's go in. Let's have a nice little birthday celebration, huh, Father? Oh, wow. Some snacks for us. Party, party. Ooh. Hey, where are the roomies at, Father? Oh my God. Was that, was that an unprofessional way to yeah, treat our brand manager? Good. Yes. Why did I do that? Hey, Room C resident, get out here. What's the C stand for, cock? Hey, what's up, dude? I'm sorry about all those awful things I said. It's O'Neal's birthday, as you might know. Oh, dude, are you my cousin? <laughs> Wait, are you guys, do you know each other? No. Are you sure? This is Kazumi, our brand outreach Hi. partner. Hello. How are you doing, man? What are you trying to do professionally when you graduate? Uh, game developer. Oh, you game might developer. like her. She's got connections with Neversoft. I know you guys need mocap for the uh, video games, right? If you need an elf with double fucking D's, yes. she'll be the motion cap. Oh, motion cap. You know I'm still offended about how you sprayed her tits. Uh -huh. I need you to go take this cross. Yes. Clutch it between your hands. Yes. Go kneel in that corner and pray. Okay. Wow. See, the great thing about O'Neal is he's pretending he's making a mockery of religion, <laughs> but he takes a knee in that corner with this cross well, twice daily. Do you um, like that? Oh. Hey, look at this. O'Neal's fucking hitting on her. Oh, Neil, are you attracted yeah. to our social media girl? Yeah, I guess she's hot. Yeah, I, I guess. guess. Yeah, but I'm taken. Let's go see your room right now. Yeah. Let's go check out your room. Is this where you fuck the bitches? I don't fuck any bitches. Has it been three years with your woman? Uh, uh, yeah, about. Okay. About three years. Do you get to second base? Yeah. I Hands don't up? know. If, no, I don't know about, enough about sex. No, second, second base, base is like touching the breast or like getting to know each other. This is his uh, interpretation of the plate system. Yeah, what is this? First base is going to Sunday mass together. <laughs> second base is a dual reading of Leviticus. Nice. Third base, roller rink. For, what bowling. I know what home is. Bowling. Home is a little bit of grinding on the dance floor. Just a tad. Just a little. Wow, Leo. So what do we have here? Okay. Marketing semiotics. What is that word? Now? Kazumi, since you are our marketing girl and you know all about marketing semiotics, just explain right now, give a brief synopsis to the audience what it is. Yeah. Marketing is showing people what they want to see, which mm -hmm. I'm assuming is my breast. Woo! Oh, oh there we oopsies. go. Thank God for that happy birthday what is it? Did you sash. Say? No. No, he is not allowed she, to see. She's not allowed to see. Nip slip there. Oh. Yeah. Thank God for that happy birthday. All right, let's bring it on back outside. So, Father, it's time for the cake reveal. Check it out, Father. We modeled it after what we thought yours would look like. 
<laughs> yeah. I hope you like it. I, I did my best making it. Oh, Neil, I, I, your roommate looks, he's a little uptight, right? A little bit. Let me help him out. What do we say we send in Kazumi Topless into his room? I don't know. I think um, as a marketing executive, right. yeah. well, That's the industry is changing. Yeah. It used to be that you needed to show up with a starch shirt and your briefcase, needed yeah. to punch in five minutes early, yeah. and it needed to punch out five minutes late. Nowadays, it's all about working from home. Casual Friday has given way to casual every day. I feel like a male nipple and a female nipple are exactly the same. Yeah. They, they can be out at the same time, yeah. and, and there shouldn't yeah. be that. Uh, exactly. Like his nipple? Yeah, dude. Uh, How are the very, nipples? Very, very similar. Father, yes, that's right. Stare into the wall. Yeah. Stare into the wall over there. I'm gonna do an impression of what just happened. See, no, it's the exact same. Well, this is my group. Yay! He wasn't impressed. Uh, that was the saddest I've ever seen someone see my breasts. No. I'll never forget. Listen, right. Leo, let's give him a talk. Let's give him a talk. How are you doing, bro? Are you dating? Uh, right now, no. Do girls find you attractive? Of course. That girl out He's there. He's six said feet it. two. He's gonna get a great job someday. Sure, indeed. <laughs> that girl out there said. That guy looks like he could swing his cock like a samurai sword. Mm -hmm. I don't know why she said that. I don't know why she said the samurai she sword. Said, she said his cock probably swings like the pendulum of Big Ben. That's what I said. Yeah. That's a fat <laughs> clock. She said that, dude. Let me tell you, buddy. When you get older, I'm 35 now. Yeah. In college, one time I turned down <clears throat> this one dick, one, one chick. What? 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 Whoa. 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 Now, I'm not sure we should be listening to this guy's advice anymore. Ethan? Ethan, what do you think? Let me you tell you something it? right yeah, now, yeah, Ethan. Take a hit of that. <laughs> There's no way you could take it. That's out. That's almost out. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Ethan. There comes a time in every man's life where he must make a choice. See giant double D porn star titties or not. Hey, Ethan, come on, buddy. And tell everybody what you saw here. <laughs> what are the chances Father O'Neill jerks off to Kazumi later today, huh? Very high, Leandro. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Yay! <laughs> and many more! You know, this is great, Leo. So we've learned a lot here. We've learned that Father O'Neill is very dedicated to both Jesus and his future wife. You didn't get a glimpse. Mm -hmm. Did you get a glimpse by accident of a nipple? I don't think Did so. Did you get a fucking nipple glimpse? We're gonna review the footage, bud. Yeah, if you, are you, yeah we are gonna review it. <laughs> she's got a fucking boyfriend. She's our social media manager and she's in a relationship. You're in an open relationship, right? With you guys, yeah. He's got to pray. He's talking. <laughs> Happy birthday to Father O'Neill over here, Woo! who's a, a great contributor to the channel. Great, great contributor to the yeah. channel. Check out his Instagram. Actually, your Instagram sucks, doesn't Father it? Father O'Neill, yeah, I'll, I'll change my, I'll change my handle. Please, and change the content as well. Okay. And start screwing around with chicks. And become a, a Jew. Okay. And drop out of school. Jesus. Forsake everything you care about. Do some drugs. Get your view off. Yeah, have children out of wedlock. Get herpes. Easy. Get AIDS. Die. So if you um, like me and if you like Kazumi, I'd appreciate it if you supported me on Patreon, where we can show uncensored things. I don't know. Uh, things like... Um, and if you want to see Kazumi um, do uh, everything... My OnlyFans is Kazumi. Mm. Do you do dick ratings on there? I do a lot of dick ratings. I feel like I'm obsessed with like rating dicks. Well, I got good news for you. Are you gonna show me your dick today? Uh, not that good of Darn. news. You're gonna rate Hearthcock's dick in yes! the bathroom. Yeah! Yeah! Just rate it. No, no, we'll, we'll film you from behind. Can I make sure that it looks just nice? Yeah, 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 yeah get in there. You don't have too much time now. <laughs> you don't got too much time in there. So, I mean, you wanna see some ditties? You wanna see some tits, dude? Breast. She'd love to show you some tits if you're interested. She's got great nipples. Just say yeah, yes. Yeah. Is that a yeah? Is yeah. it a yeah? Yeah, he said yeah. Woo! Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, man. Come on in here, man. We're gonna go. For $40, would you rate my friend's cock? <laughs> Please, dude. Hey, come on. 40 bucks is 40 bucks. What, you're looking at a penis? Who cares? Really? Close to? What do you think? Rated five. Okay, why? Uh, 
Not that much length. With no prep not much. With no prep not much length. He goes not a much length. Not much girth either, huh? Not much girth. Either. Not much girth. Okay. So uh, it sounded more like a four to me. Yeah, it's nice shape. It's nice shape. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Shade is a really good thing to say. Do you want to show him what a real penis looks like? Uh, no. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Happy birthday to father. We're going home.